So, how is the Speedway treating you? Yeah, pretty good. Can't complain. So far, so good. Uh, car's been really quick lately, so, um, you know, enjoying the month. How are you feeling, like, the whole learning process? How's that going for you? It's long. I mean, it's like, you know, you always want to rush your learning process. Yeah. But then when you're done, you kind of, like, you understand why it took so long, and then you're happy about it. So, I mean, we're looking for. I'm looking forward to the race, but <laughs> at the same time, it's another thing that it's a learning learning yeah. curve for you, and you just want to finish. So what, that's the first goal. What are the biggest things that, like, driving out there, probably in traffic, what, what's the biggest thing that, that to get better? I mean, you got to know how to work your tools. Like, you have a set amount of things you can change in the car. You have to understand how to adapt and how to change depending on how many cars are in front of you versus if you're in clean air. You got to remember to always reset everything and to always, you know, you always got to stay on top of something. So it's that that's kind of one of the tricky bits racing in traffic as well. That and timing. Timing's everything here. You got to you, you really got to pay attention to what the people are doing in front of you. You have to really pay attention to what people are doing behind you as well. So it's um, as long as you're smart and you're paying attention. You, know, you look for little mistakes and little errors that drivers make uh, over a, a distance where you figure out your strengths versus their strengths and you know you try to make yourself strong where they're weak is that based on certain drivers like learning Every, how everybody's they're different okay so i feel like everybody learns differently everybody understands how you drive differently but uh no, it's like a giant game of chess and it's it's technical do you how do you like this the oval racing versus say a road course or street course racing it's the racing is really different like being around cars at full speed all the time is a lot of fun it's a lot of unique uh, a lot more unique i want to say I, I i love street course racing because i like i like the walls you know i like i mm -hmm. like the challenge i like the insight of racing on street courses that's always probably going to be my favorite thing to do but the fact that we get to race here is special and I, i'm really excited for it on sunday so are you learning from your teammates like Who's giving you the most advice uh, getting around the track? Seb. Seb yeah. was really helpful to me. My, my spotter, Poncho, and my engineering team, okay. Michael Cannon. You know, those guys have been by far the biggest help that, I mean, you can ever get. I mean, they, they've been here so many times. They, they've seen every, you know, they've seen a lot of rookies go through. So they have a lot of knowledge when they're dealing with someone who's young and new in the sport. And mm -hmm. uh, that's what makes a huge difference. Do you have a plan for Sunday's race? Like finish. Just finish. All 200 laps. Just to see what happens. Yeah, I'd love to finish on the lead lap. I think that'd be awesome. But do you have a plan to get there? Like, what? How, how are you going to get there? Uh, I think we're going to have to pass a couple of yeah. cars. Have uh, you know, as long as we have some solid stops. You know, the fewer the, the fewer mistakes you make, the better. Especially on you know my part being a rookie and everything, it'll be really hard. And um, you know, it's just a mentally long one. So I think uh, I think you keep your nose clean, you do your job, and you're just going to go forward if you stand the lap so that's the idea i know talking to some of the veterans that, that said they have had a plan that immediately something changes and that, that all goes out the window so you almost have to hence why you can't have a plan. wait for it to come <laughs> up to you yeah you just uh, you kind of play the hand you dealt so i mean you, you go off where you start you know we start kind of in the backpack back of the pack we have a good race car which is good which means we can pass mm -hmm. and we're going to see what we can do to get through the field as fast as we can you know, it's not like road course or street course strategy where you're starting in the back. You have the option to dumpster dive. You have the option to pass cars. You have the option to stay out if other people in front of you pit. You know, you don't have to play a fuel strategy too much here. I think you just run out your window. You learn, you gain your experience, and you try and pass as many cars as you possibly can and stay ahead.